this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time! Let's continue through Ganon's castle and the trials that lay ahead. Let's see, before going into that area, let's see, I know I'm going to need, yeah, the uh, Lens of Truth coming up here, and yeah, that ought to be good for now. Oh, actually, I need to have Fire Arrows coming up ahead here. Whoa! How am I supposed to get around this place with all these pits here? Oh, Navi seems to have noticed something there. Yeah, gotta play the Song of Time here. Uh, well, you don't have to, but it makes getting over to that chest in the upper right a lot easier. Although I suppose you could just hookshot over to it and that would work too. But yeah, I just thought I'd show off the Song of Time box there. Five rupees, that's it? I risk life and limb just for that? All right. Let's see, now over there, we got a torch that is unlit. So let's shoot a fire arrow over there to light that and reveal these platforms. You could also hook, hook shot over to the torch and then hook shot over to the like like here. And that would work as well. But I thought I'd show off the little platforms we got there. Oh, yeah, I could use a little more arrows. Okay, let's see. Now, in order to keep going, let's uh, use another fire arrow there to reveal even more platforms. Timing's going to be a little tight on this one, although it might be a little easier if you use, like, the hover boots to get over here, and then you don't have to worry about lighting that torch at all. But, yeah, again, I just thought I'd show you... Probably how you're supposed to do this. Yeah, just hook shot back up to the chest then to get the final key item of the game, the Golden Gauntlets. Not as good as an Infinity Gauntlet, but I'll take what I can get. Okay, let's see. We got a rusty switch over there, and yeah, now we're going to need the Lens of Truth to get over here. There's also a hidden path over there, but I'm not going to be taking that in order to get to the end. You notice by that door... I don't know if that's supposed to be a torch. It kind of looks like one. But, uh, okay. What happens if I light that torch? Oh, it just, uh, makes them come back again. Huh, okay. I thought, like, only the one torch did the job, but, uh, okay. Well, let's see. Okay, yeah, get magic back. Get back to the light arrows there. Plot arrows, shoot the core! Yeah, pretty much. But alright, three down, three to go. And you need to have the golden gauntlets for... I think it's the next two that we're doing, or... Well, two of the remaining trials, at least. I don't... I forget the order that all this is in. You, you don't have to do this in, like, counterclockwise order, but it's just a little faster that way. Okay, so this is the fire trial that we got. So, let's see. We need... Yeah, you're going to need the Goron tunic for that one. Let's see. I know I want to have the hover boots, and let's see. I think that'll be good there. Now, you want to have the hover boots equipped when you're going around this central platform here, because if you don't have them equipped, it'll sink into the lava, and if you fall into the lava, you get to do this all over again. So, yeah, just have the hover boots equipped. Now, let's see. I could have also gone from that, the left side of the platform, to get over here, but I didn't want to risk falling in the lava. So, yeah, just do this the easy way. We got five silver rupees that we need to collect in order to uh, get through this place. Okay, let's just take off the hover boots for a brief moment. Yeah, this is one of those huge pillars that I was telling you about before. And, yeah, that's why you need the golden gauntlets for this one. And we also need that platform over there anyway, conveniently. Man, those golden gauntlets are powerful for you, huh, Link? Whoa! Okay, we're good. We're good. 
Don't worry about the red bubbles. But I am worried about this torch slug. Gotcha. Okay, we don't need the boots for a little while. Yeah, these smaller platforms, they don't care whether you've got the hover boots on or not. They'll just sink no matter what you do. Okay, and then get about up to here. And yeah, we got the shot target. And we're at the end. And this was the trial that I was probably most worried about going through here. Almost looks like a bee, uh, like a beehive shape or something. Let's see, the next one we've got is the light trial, I believe. And I think you need the golden gauntlets just to get into that place. So, yeah, kind of strange that they give you the ability to start a trial without having all the items you need for it. Okay, yeah, I was correct. Yeah, that's the one we're looking for. So, yeah, you can't even get into this one without having gone through the shadow trial already. Wow, that is one hell of a barrier you got there, Ganon. Holy cow! Okay, let's see. We've got some hidden enemies here. So let's uh, take them out. See, we got some keys on these chests here. So just take them out with the hook shot there. And you might notice those three specific chests that they were sitting on. As if I recall correctly, those are the chests that are not traps so yeah i'm just gonna open up all the trap chests first just for the sake of opening them to satisfy my ocd and then we'll open up the three safe chests there hopefully i will not take much more damage okay good one of these chests has a recovery heart in it so i can get back up to full not that being at full health really does anything in this game it's not like I'm going to have sword beams or, or anything like that, but it's the principle of the thing. But alright, got him. Let's see, okay, in this one, yeah, we've got Triforce symbol, you know what that means. Play the lullaby. Why Ganon would have built that right into the thing, I don't know. But I suppose he didn't have the Ocarina of Time, maybe he just didn't know or something maybe he like rebuilt or built this whole place out of the Hyrule Castle that was here before or something and okay this one can be a little tricky but nothing we can't handle yeah we've got a whole bunch of silver rupees that we need to collect if I can get into the little nook in the wall or not okay there we go Give me a weird camera angle. Whoa! Okay, we can do it this way. Not exactly according to plan, but it will do. Aha! Please don't pummel me again. Huh? There's... There's nothing here. Whoa! I don't like that noise. Yeah, you gotta use a lens of truth to figure out where to go. But alright. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know why this is the only one that, like, has a trick at the end. Like, wait, where's the orb that I gotta shoot? Or the core, or whatever that thing is. Man, that light trial has more chests than all the other... Yeah, it has more chests than all the other chests in the dungeon combined. <laughs> But yeah, with those frozen traps, you just... I don't know what you do to get break out of it faster. I just push everything. A, B, circle pad, whatever you got. Okay, let's get back to the Kokiri tunic. And let's see, one more. The spirit trial. Okay, we got a whole bunch of rupees to collect. There's one right on top of that Beemos. 
And let's see, we got one more over here. Whoop. Yeah, that one can be a little tricky to collect there. Okay, now for this one, well, first things first, let's uh, take these guys out. Okay, so right over here, let's see, we got a crystal switch over there, but I can't hit it with my sword even. Whatever shall we do? Well, what you're supposed to do is put the uh, bomb shoes to use. That works. Not exactly on target, but it will do. Let's see, if you hit this crystal switch, you got another chest which contains some bomb or bomb shoes there. So, yeah, if you hadn't collected any up to now, well, this would be a good time to do that. Let's see, I think I'm going to need fire arrows coming up correctly. Yeah, yeah, we're going to need that. Okay, so we got the spider webs up top there. And let's see, we got a whole bunch of these sun symbols on the wall. Three of them will release, what are they, wall masters or something? But it... <laughs> But if you shine the light on the correct one, it opens the door. But yeah, I don't want to get sent back to the beginning of the dungeon, or at least not right now, not until I'm done here, and well, I'll be sent out of the whole place then. Okay, last core. Now, there is one more thing that I want to do before going into the center of Ganon's castle. Now that we've, uh, well, I think we've dispelled all the barriers. That's a lot of backup systems you got there for your barrier, buddy. Haha! -ha. Okay, so before going in there, let's get out of here. If you did a little exploring outside of Ganon's castle, and you kept on, like where I got that gold sculptula token before, if you kept on going down that path, you would have seen a huge pillar there in the way that we couldn't do anything about before. But now that we've got the golden gauntlets, we can do something about it. So let's head on over there. Of course, it doesn't exactly help that you only get access to this in like the last one percent of the game but it's there but yeah don't worry about any of these other boulders this is the one that i'm concerned about just toss it in the lava with the rest of the garbage i'm sure we'll throw ganon in there sooner or later too uh again there we go but all right, one last great fairy, then never again, right? <laughs> Brace for impact! <laughs> Do you and all your sisters practice that laugh? But I like the hair color, I suppose. Hey, all right. But aren't you supposed to give me courage, not power? Like the Triforces or something? Or... But whatever, we get the red ring. No, no, we just get a bonus to our defense, which is, well, the same as the blue ring, really. But all right. Not that we're taking that many hits anyway, but might as well take what you can get. And I think that's 100% item collection, including all the upgrades that we can get for our items and everything. So all that's left to do is get back to the castle and take out Ganon himself. Oh, well, there is one more chest to get in the center of the dungeon, but yeah... Yeah, I don't know what's with all those boulders there on the side of the road. Whatever. 
if you need to heal up, remember there's that... Well, I guess the Great Fairy just healed us up, but... Like, if you're already here and you need to heal up, you can... There's that hidden area that I showed off in the previous episode. Whoa! Both of them coming at me this time. Yeah, there's that hidden area you use the Lens of Truth, like right below this bridge here. And you can go in there, but I don't need to. Whoa! Way too many fire keys around here. I'm lucky I opened that door on the first try. But alright. Now oh, that one was easy. Ow. Come on. Yeah, those guys can be a little fast, but nothing we can't handle. Thrust attacks are pretty fast against them. But uh, I got lucky with the jump attacks on the first one there. Man, this game really has a Link to the Past vibe going to it, doesn't it? Okay. Just walk right through the fire there. Easy enough. Whoa. Cutting it a little close there, Link. But now we got the final treasure chest in the game. which contains the boss key. Seems kind of odd that Ganon would put the key to, well, wherever his chambers are around here, outside the door. Kind of makes it easy for you to break in or something, but okay. Let's see, what else do we got? Oh, we got, let's see. Well, a couple of these uh, iron knuckles there. So you don't want to wake up both of them at the same time. I'm surprised he was able to parry my attack there. But, alright. Okay, one down, one to go. Whoa! I'm lucky I didn't get hit there. Wasn't quite ready for that one. So, bait. Whoop! Ah, well, that works too. Ha ha! What does Navi have to say about her oh yeah that's true I, I I know from firsthand experience eh more rupees awesome how many stairs does this place have holy cow but can we defeat Ganon rescue Princess Zelda and save Hyrule for all time Find out next time on the finale of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.